I got you Wait, one. Wait, what does that say? What? What it, What does that price say? Where? On that duck. Uh, <laughs> what in the world? Seven hundred and eighty-nine dollars. All right. Well, hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today we are at one of the largest antique malls in North America, the heart of Ohio. And we are here with Fat Bird Finds, that's Laura, and also Miss D, Thrift Junker, and Michael, Cult of Vintage. I don't believe we're gonna be shopping much together specifically, so you don't have to deal with multiple voices and all the things, but we're gonna have fun in here. So let's see what we can find. We get a wagon bar. I'm so tired of pulling a cart after yesterday. <laughs> I like it. And it has carpet in it too. Can I ride? No. Can I ride? <laughs> I'm really happy. You ride. I can't steer it worth anything, but. You gotta pull. You can't push a wagon, I don't think. Oh, right. Okay. There we go. I got it. Okay, so we were actually here, I think a year ago? No, not a year ago. That wasn't a thing. Uh, 2019. And. They have really nice things here. So 895, isn't that lovely cameo glass? So there is a video of us here at this, at this mall. We were actually coming back from Philadelphia at the time when we were vis up visiting Jocelyn and we saw the Frank Lloyd Wright house. So it was really awesome. But we were on a time crunch at that point. So we didn't get to really take our time so much. So the way this does this check Czechoslovakia with threaded okay so we didn't really get a chance to take our time but today because there's multiple there's multiple sellers here ooh look at that we decided to each go off different directions at the start of it at the beginning here there are different wings that you could go to so there's that wing over there like it's a whole hallway number three there's one down the center and then we're on this wing we got our cart too Oh, look at that. 110. That's pretty. Oh, wow. Yeah, but we're going to press on and see what we can find. There's all these cases down the center as well. I was just asking the guy. Yeah. I was trying to cheat a little bit. I was just out of, oh. by chance, I was like, do you Will happen to us? know if there's any rubber face, like stuffed oh. animals or Santas in here that you had seen recently? And he said there is, but he doesn't know where. Oh, no. I was like, because Michael's in here. I've got competition. Michael, the cult of inches. That's so true. <laughs> you should have said, where are like the better deals too? Oh, That's well. a bit subjective though. Yeah, it is. We'll try. We'll try. I haven't bought one of these in a while, and it's time. This is a Hazel Atlas strawberry jam jar. Five dollars. Okay, we're finding some deals. I'm I... gonna get myself this cat. Oh yeah, Barbara found it's, a Holland mold it's piece. It's Holland mold, but I think it looks pretty cool. Like I do think so as well. Now, Very do you like this one? Halloween. I was thinking this one because this of one. Halloween. This one. Yeah. That one, I don't like. I do like that one too. I don't like it. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't. I'm yeah. trying to, but I just don't. I like the black one more. Yeah, I wanted to try to find something right off the big thing to get our wagon, like something in it. Yes. It makes us feel better. Wow, this is really cool. I've never seen a tin like this. This is a tin and it's $85. Isn't that interesting? I, that shape is so original looking. And there's like these, I think, yeah, peacocks on them. And then birds on the top. So neat. Oh wow, and this melt glass, that's different with the stars on it. Ooh, yeah, I like that one. Yeah, it is. It's 18, I think it's 18. Yeah, $18. That's nice. Here's one of these, $12, but that's pretty too. A lot of times the paint will be missing, the, like the flowers that they painted on, and a woven bowl. That's bleak. Woven balls are fun. So Balik on the basket, the woven basket balls, they will sometimes have these like little ribbons on them like that instead of the traditional in, uh, like green stamp or the colored stamps. They would just be like written on there like that. So they do change them for the different forms. The basket would have this kind So these. It's like it says like Balik, Fer Ferganagi, or Ferganan, Ireland on it. 
Lovely. Okay, this is pretty cool. This is a consolidated glass in the Cosmos pattern. And this is the first pitcher I have seen, the water pitcher. So they have $150 on it. And this is from about 1895, actually. It's interesting because you would look at it and maybe not consider that it's that old because of the coloring and stuff, but it is, it's antique milk glass. Oh my gosh, this is just literally like me walking around loving things, but this is Lodes glass and it's $275. I just love the finish on that. And that is achieved using different salts whenever they're making the glass on the outside, sort of like a carnival glass. You know, this is a pretty cool piece. It's antique milk glass and it's $8 for a single candlestick holder. I'm considering it, I don't ever see candlestick holders. So it's a different form. I might. They also have some of these plates here. They've got the the um, bears. They have the cats in a couple different sizes. Westmoreland did some of those, I know. I think I will get this. I like the form, and it's eight dollars. I could do that. I don't know if I really need. I just got two that were kind of similar to this. So, and I got that whole group for sixty. So that makes it harder to pay fifty-five. Right. But you know what I see right up here. The blue one. I like this waffle pattern on here and the fan and the, isn't that beautiful? Uh -huh. Look at that opening for 34. I bet Mary Beth would like that because she would want one that color. Should I maybe put, we it, in could put it in the cart and if she doesn't want it, then maybe one of you I do get it. like yeah. that. I don't know if she's looking for a big or a small. We'll see if she wants it. And we'll put it in the middle for maybe. Was there anything else in here? Um, I have like glass. Let's see. Is it is a Hager? Guy and he's pink for oh wow. That's awesome. This is a really cute little turtle. It is blue glass and it's nine dollars. I like that it's cobalt. Interesting color. I think I might get that. Oh, there's also I just noticed a blue, like a little blue bird here. But it's like, um, I don't know who made that one. And then there's a duck. The duck is $17.50. I'll get, I'll get the turtle. I like the turtle. We're considering maybe getting rid of our cart because there's so many people here that are taking things, but I don't know. I don't know. I mean, whatever. I just feel that. I feel like it's in the way of people when they're doing stuff. Oh, I don't know. There's not that many people here. Well, there are. It's, it's pretty nice. It's spread out, though. Yeah, that's what it is. That's kind of a neat-looking flower frog type of vase. There's two of them. Yeah. This looks like a really good booth because there are pictures all over the walls. Prints. Yay, Barb says. She, she, does, like, um, she does like pictures and lithographs. Now, I have that one times, like, three right now in different sizes. $29 is really, really good. Um, but let's see if they have any other lithographs that I don't have. A lot of these have people in them. And I have traditionally said no to people. <laughs> but I'm coming around. Depends. Oh, that's pretty. I actually do like this one. Now this is a different colorway than I normally would get. Nice, $19. That is pretty. It says litho in USA. Sometimes we have, we have questions about how do you know if it's litho? I mean, it says that it is, but it's just the, the mass print technique at the time. What, Barb? You don't like that one or do you? you have I that have that one. one. What? It's a mountain. There's a mountain. It's the same one, isn't it? No. Well, I have that one too. Oh, okay. Um, look at this one. This is a different colorway. Oh, yeah. I like that. It's ni is that? 19. That's not bad. It's not. I just like the how it's more vibrant than some of the bluer toned. This is pretty glass too. Thirty. Um, I'm not. I don't. I wish the frame. I wish the honestly. I wish the frame was more in line with, with it. I'll think about it. This is really cool. It's Westmoreland, but I love the green slag on it. This is very. This is very different. It has like these little bubbles on it and like an op, sort of an optic twist. Oh, 
I like that. For 25, I'm gonna buy that. Yeah, this I think it's I think it's interesting. I just noticed this owl right here. Oh, and the little owl, yeah. For 15, I don't feel like that's too bad. It's not too bad. Oh yeah, and the giant cat. Huh. I found more K Finch here. You have this owl? Yes. Oh, okay. I have that one. I got you Wait, one. Wait, what does that say? What? What it, What does that price say? Where? On that duck. Uh, <laughs> what in the world? Seven hundred and eighty-nine dollars. All right. But you do get the pair. <laughs> <laughs> well, that makes it oh. totally worth it. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. So this is a McKee bottoms up glass piece. So this is a two-piece situation and it's in the jadeite. This was reproduced, so you gotta be careful about that. But it's really interesting and they have $295 on it by a McKee and it's in this really pretty, almost like a clam broth glass. It's very translucent and nice. But yes, they did reproduce those and they made them in all different colors. I'm trying to think if it was Boyd's glass or Mosser, one of the two. This so. place is really interesting because you might see something in a case that's like five dollars and then you might see something that's fifteen hundred. <laughs> I know, so you never like, know what you're getting. You really just have to look and hope for the best. Look place. at that girl. Is she on a turtle? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's um, well, three. It's only twenty five. No, Barb, it's three hundred and twenty nine. Oh, okay. <laughs> So there is another Atkinson Fox print right there, and that's one I don't have. And they just have print and nice frame written on there for $69. That's nice though, I don't have that one. I'm not going to get that one here, but it's amazing how many different ones yeah, there is. are. Barb found Christmas. Christmas. But when it's all Christmas, that usually means that it might be hard to find deals. Yeah. <laughs> Or well, it might all be... whenever there's a lot of anything, you have to worry about that. Yes. That's why the best, best deals, it seems like, are the ones that have a mixture of everything. That's true. I'm Yeah, and a lot of this is kind of newer. newer. No, it's, it's, there's stuff mixed in, but... Like a... Well... Yeah. I'll leave you to it. I love those. Wait, is that Lucy? <laughs> it looks like... Oh, you, you're right. That face, though. Lucy and Desi? You could have Lucy on cardboard. They literally don't look like that, but I love it. Oh my gosh. So Is that? I just love it. That's that's awesome. <laughs> Ooh, there's so many nice things in here. It's very boho. Look at that squirrel. I like its face. That's chalkware. Yeah. Yeah. Forty-five. Nice. Interesting concept. I found a flamingo in this nice booth. We're gonna open up the case and see what it is. It's wood, I don't have any wood flamingos. Oh, it's been broken. What the heck? How much is it? $8, $8. I would've paid $8 if it wasn't broken. That's so sad. Who did that? I'll never know. It's painted nicely. I'm so sad. Maybe this funny little pear can make you happy. No. <laughs> Bad. I think that's kind of funny. Bad Barb. <laughs> Put it down. Um, this is a nicely, nicely curated booth. Uh -huh. I like what they're doing with it. They're onto something here, clearly. Well, this is fun. It is a red Viking glass tree for twelve fifty. I am channeling Misty right now. Look at that. It is a vintage relish jar of a face crying. Isn't that a lovely thing? Is twenty dollars. I think I'm gonna do it. I've never seen this before. I think it's clever. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. I'm just gonna grab it, throw it in the cart, and take it with me. You know, I think it's pretty cool. Well, that's a cute little sign. What does it say? It says something sign. Frontal. B F C L R. It's pretty. I like it. All right, now we are gonna go down the center. Sh shaft the center aisle and we'll see what we can find over here so oh there's some of those beaded things up there safety pin art yeah I, I picked up a couple of those lately I need to sell them first oh, I guess we need to decide which aisle we're going down it splits off both ways what did Barb find 
Oh, I, yeah. I just sold this one a while back. This is nineteen fifty. Twenty four fifty is not bad. Would you like this for nineteen fifty? I would not. Would you? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's close, but it's close, but it's not. This is a nice booth. It's mid century. I like this thing. Yeah, mid century booths just like draw me in like a. That's like a tree chair. Should I try it up? Yeah. It doesn't say don't sit. I like it. That's a good review. <laughs> Here's a Viking duck. And fish. I didn't mean to jump over there, but I thought Yes, you that. did. She did mean to jump over here. <laughs> Wanna talk me off of a ledge? What is it? Well, tell me what that looks like to you. That looks like a paperweight with little flowers in it. I see an owl. I see an owl face. Um, on the shiny part or the not shiny I part? I see an eye, an eye, and then a beak. Oh, like sideways owl? Yeah, I don't think I... Barb. Can you Either just way, go with me? Either way, do you want to play 90 for it anyway? Well, this is at Eckholt. It's Eckholt Art oh, Glass. And it's yes. something that I was kicking myself before because I did not have enough cash uh -huh. at the flea market. Now we don't need cash. It looks like an owl. I don't know what's wrong with you, but it looks like an owl's face, Barb. All right. Oh, these are locked. I... <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> I kind of went like this. I'm like, do you want to like break it? Get my little mug out of there that I wanted to look at. I <laughs> think I'm going to do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> I'm just like, I I just love that so much. Do you want me to get the guy? Yeah, or so a sledgehammer. What is this number? Do we know a number? This is booth number six, uh, sixty-one oh three. So I did end up getting that art glass paying up for something, but I wanted to try it out. I thought it was really cool. There are some really nice booths in here. Nice pieces, I should say. And I'm trying my best, <laughs> but like some of them are like right on the money for, for, for value. And so you have to be very selective, but we'll figure it out. We're doing well so far here. Pretty much. Yeah. It's really hilarious. We keep we keep running into K Finch More than ever. ceramics. And so this one Barb actually has already. And <laughs> there was another one over there's a whole like department store over here with a few well, just a couple. This pig here is four hundred and sixty-five. So I didn't realize. Ooh, ooh, I love this thing. Why? What? Oh, 1980. It looks so much older than it did from afar. I was thinking it was like Art Nouveau, but no, 1980. Okay. You are? For what? For that thing. Oh, I love this glass right here. 55. I love that. I do. Oh, and there's a blue Fenton Owl fairy light. That's, that's nice. There's some really cool things in here. You just gotta look. Mostly for just looking though, you know, you know how it is. You just get to look. Here's some Rookwood pottery, 700 for that one. And then back there, about 100 for that one back there. Looks like little birds are on it. And then there's these, those are pretty though. A pair of peacocks are about $600. Interesting. Those are also Rookwood. We don't see very much Rookwood where we are. That's the great thing about traveling, especially to Ohio and the eastern coast or eastern United States is that there's just, oh, oh, that's an egret. And then some parrots. Are these? No. Oh, they're Stangle for 70. We, I saw Jocelyn earlier. I don't, I think she's shopping on the other side of the aisle. That's a really pretty paperweight. Orient and Flume for 120. It's really pretty. I found a Christmas present. For myself? For, for myself? For you to get me. Oh, really? <gasps> Look at this booth, though. <laughs> and it would oh. only be for about the next 10 years. <laughs> 475. Isn't that awesome? It almost looks like it's cracked up there, though. It's oh, my gosh. Yeah, this Look is what they've done with place. the place. They put things all over it. Like, this is something cool. Yes. I like that. There's lots of cool in here. Guess what? I, I showed Jocelyn my footage uh -huh. and of that paperweight, and she 
loved it. Oh, yeah. So the footage of the paperweight, I was asking her about it and she was like, yeah, that's really good. Oh, so good. I'm, I'm glad I got it. Yay. She's actually sold some of those paperweights like that. So, oh, look at all of the bittersweet. I love bittersweet. I do. And this nice smoke glass lamp. Mmm. Ooh, this is cool with this big stopper. Oh, wow. That's $4.75. It says Blinko decanter. It's a nice, like, squat. Squat well, I piece. I didn't see that one, yeah. Ain't that something? I have a Blinko decanter that's that coloring, but it's a different shape that I got from George. Love it. But I can't get the... There's a residue inside, and I can't get it out. That's a problem. It is. <laughs> but he sold it cheaply because of that. Yes. Ooh, I almost, I ran into this tricycle in a booth of glass, which is not good. Oh, look at these. Paper, or paperweights, bookends. Ellie Smith. Nice. There you are. Yes, I've found you. I, I didn't think I would in this enormous place. It's huge. Have you found Misty yet? No, I have not. She's here too. Do you know which direction she went in? I have no idea anymore. Because we all split up. Yeah. Yeah, so we I... walked in and we were like, let's go straight. I know. you guys had that same idea. Well, no, we did one way and then we went straight. Yeah. Have you seen this booth? No. Oh my gosh. There's I'm a like, I have to do this whole oh, aisle wow. yet. It's, it's really like nice. overwhelmed. Look at that huge. Have you found anything oh. yet? <laughs> yeah, I got... um. He got a set of Libby circus glasses because we oh, have yeah. Yeah, the, the short ones. We um, have the high ball ones and now we've got the low ball ones. And then we got a lapid vase. It's from Israel. It's the oh. eccentric modern. It's really nice. We had a bowl once and it did really well. So we got a vase. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Awesome. That's it. This is one big tin. Oh my gosh. I'm not even sure what you'd put in that. Like lots of chocolate. No, I don't know, but it's pretty. I like the colors. Sixty-five dollars. It was oh, hiding. I know. That's like what a lot. <laughs> well, no, but I saw it hiding under here, like a little treasure chest. I don't know. Barb has me really into this. I just love the glaze on that. The greens and blues are stunning for two seventy-five, and that is Batosi out of Italy. Maybe you want. Maybe I don't. <laughs> Maybe Barb should just buy it herself. Oh. Barb, buy it. <laughs> I don't think I'm most of it. I love it. It's not. Bleak. Oh, it's Balik. Oh, no, it's, uh, it's um it's Lennox Balik. Yeah, that's early 1900s, late like eight, 1895 or so. Good for you, Lennox. What is this poodle? Oh my gosh. Let's see. Well, that is an interesting poodle head. I would say for sure. It is marked Expert Doll and Toy Company. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Well. Um. Oh my gosh. Does that bells in it? It's a gut bells in its booty. <laughs> Doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, the tail. And the tail. And it's got its leash. Um, I guess I probably would. Poodles oh, really? aren't my very favorite, but I'll put yeah. it in the cart for now. And, and okay. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Lovely. Of course, I have to show the flamingo tin. This is one I haven't seen before either. Look at that. They have seventeen fifty on it, but I'm not going to buy flamingos? it. flamingos? Uh-huh. I'm not going to get it because okay. I, I do have... I do have a line that I must not cross. I'm not sure where that line is these days, but it's apparently somewhere. Ooh, I love flowers on things. But that's the Capitol building in the in the background. I just noticed this wooden cat. It has some pretty good weight to it. It's nice. It has a cute little face for $20. So I'm going to get it. I think I'll do well with that, actually, for all the cat people. Oh, Barb's taking off. Better get to her. Nice. We'll put that right there. Little cat. Oh, there's some Millie Fiore paperweights. What'd you find? Um, this restaurant was kind of neat. It's from, it's local. It's Van Cleave Hotel, Dayton, Ohio. Oh, that's neat. It has yeah. a shield on it. I'm not going to get it, but I do like no? it. No? Okay. Well, now this is cool. It's cameo glass and it's $950. It's really pretty. It has some sailboats on it. And then that one back there has some really pretty flowers for $8.65. Oh, I like this little, this little vase or planter. Satsuma. So it's a Japanese drum shape 
for 55. That is really pretty. And then here's something. It's a French cameo glass vase, six inch tall, Perlier pattern. Hmm. So circa 1925 to 1929. That's just before the crash, folks. $785. Oh, look at the cloisonne, or cloisonne. Look at the cloisonne tray. <laughs> the cloisonne tray, $35. And that is from the late 1800s, it says. Now that is nice. For 35? I'm tempted, actually. Why is it only 35? What is wrong with you? I can hear Jocelyn laughing from here. And she's across the room. All right, well, for now, I'm going to wrap up this video. This is part one. I'm actually going to do two parts at this mall because it is so large. And so watch out for that video. But so I'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.